that's an area also that you want to focus on. Your knees might start to hurt, you might start to get swelling. So lymphatic drainage is also really good for pregnancy. Uh, something else that's really common that women say are, I'm afraid to get a pedicure because they're going to press on some points and I'm going to go into labor. So let me just eradicate that right away. That is a myth. That's based on, it has some truth to it, okay? So that's based on acupressure. Do you guys know what acupressure is? A little bit? Okay. So as you know, acupressure originated in China. There are certain points along the ankle, along the toe, even along the shoulder that can start uterine contraction. Okay? Really helpful if you're past your 40 weeks and you're desperate. <laughs> Um, but there's nothing to be afraid of. So if you do um, like kneading or you do like um, you're picking up the muscle or you're doing effleurage, nothing's going to happen. It's perfectly safe to get your feet massaged, to get your hands massaged. There's a lot of misinformation out there because there's a lot of therapists that just don't know how to work with pregnant women. So it's really important that you get a specialist. Okay. So going toward, towards my baby. <laughs> so, when you're massaging your baby, and I'm just going to shift to the baby really quick, okay? I really recommend, there's a lot of products out there. There's a lot of products in here, probably, that's like baby lotion and things like that. I really like using natural oils. So, if you want to get just Regular old coconut oil, that is great. You know, you can get it anywhere. Uh, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's right here. Um, coconut oil is probably the base oil for a lot of the baby products, the good quality baby products anyway. So you can get coconut oil, you can get almond oil as long as your baby doesn't have a nut allergy. It's kind of hard to tell so in advance. So when you're, when you're doing this, you want to start massaging the baby as early as possible. Even if you have other children, you still want to massage them as they get older. Because massage is, it feels so wonderful and kids love it. I massage my nephews, they're like five and seven, and you should see them. They're like, please, I need a massage. I'm like, you're seven, what do you need a massage for? <laughs> they're adorable, kids love massage. But it's also been tested scientifically that massage helps babies have a better emotional bond with their mom, a better emotional bond with um, their grandma and their dad or whoever's giving them a massage, and it also teaches them what safe touch feels like. So if you're worried about a stranger touching them in the wrong way, you get to the point where you're teaching them about safe, healthy touch, massage is a great way to introduce them because they understand it, they make a connection with it, okay? So you wanna start with your baby, and you just kind of want to have him like him or her like this. You want to start with just a few strokes across the chest, okay? And then you want to move down to the arms, just yeah, very gently like squeeze and finish off here. So you can do that about three times. Nice broad stroke, nice broad stroke, nice broad stroke, compression, compression, down to the fingers, okay? When you get to the nice cute chubby little legs, okay? You can do compressions as well. You can do compressions all the way down here where the calves are. And you can even do some nice acupuncture, trigger points, reflexology, whatever you call it. You can have it here. When you turn the baby around, okay, same type of stroke. Kind of like a swimmer stroke. You're going to start in the lower back, okay, with the palm. It's so small. With the palm, you can just kind of do this, wrap it around the arm. So again, you're going to start with the palms here, you're going to push slightly, go over the shoulders, and finish off at the hands. You're going to do that about three times. When you get to the glute area, you can do little kitty, kitty paw <laughs> compressions, okay? Because the glutes are muscles, as we just talked about. And then when we get to the legs, very similar to when we're face up, we're just going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze about three times. This should take you maybe about five to ten minutes after the bath or before bedtime so you can kind of calm the baby down. Emotion.
emotional bonding is so important. And massage is a great way to do it. So that wraps it up for me. Thank you so much for having me. If you guys are curious about cranial massage, you want to schedule an appointment, I am doing a special offer for moms working for the month of May for a cranial massage for $50, which is unheard of <laughs> because the typical cranial massage probably goes from anywhere from about $80 to $130 for the hour. So I am honoring moms because I think you guys are awesome. If you have any questions, you can um, contact me. I'm going to leave my cards right here. Do you want to set up an appointment? Go online, book it, whenever you guys want. Thank you so much. Ah.